I'm with Aina Kobinata from Japan. Hello. Hi. She's me, Aina. <laughs> this is she's been supporting our event since last year, and we've been having a great chat. Aina, tell me about Sensei YouTube. Yeah. Um, the most of country in the most of country, the athletes tend to learn under Sensei YouTube. It's uh, one kind of good effort, I think. But hopefully, the traditional, the correct techniques will be succeeded day by day, year by year. Totally. I know it's difficult, but we should make efforts. So YouTube gets us started. We get to enjoy everyone's fighting techniques and karate techniques, but also hopefully bring us together with uh, our regular community. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for coming yeah. to Canada. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. Awesome. See you next year. Richard Mazda here with my karate vlog and it's been an amazing couple weeks. We had the Canada Open at the Richmond Olympic Oval with well over 600 competitors over two days. Biggest event in Canada, it was really fantastic. More than 10 countries were represented by different people. And right away we're back in the action here at the club. It's been really fantastic and we're gonna have a summer promotion. A summer promotion you said? Yes! A samurai sword for a summer promotion? Yeah, it was like for 10 seconds only. That's amazing. We've done lots of promotions in the club for the members. If they bring a friend, they get two tickets. If their friend joins, they get five tickets. The person joining gets two. Over the summer, every time they have come to five classes, they get one ticket. And anything they share about the promotion on social media, they get a ticket. And in August 31st, we will draw for the Samurai Sword. There was a question, are you allowed to give out a Samurai Sword? No, you're not allowed to give it out. It's highly illegal. I'm just kidding. Of course you can. Who actually owns the sword? By the way, there's another rule. If you're 18 years and under, you don't actually own the sword. Your parents do. Some people standing here that uh, they hadn't done a belt test in a year and a half. By heart, so I'm really proud to see that. It's not about how fast you climb up the ranks, because this is just a symbol of who you are. It's more about the effort you put in. We want you to feel that we really care about you only because you care about training here. Does that make sense? So the more effort you put in, and we see sweat, you know, I know in your belt, and I know mine, I got you. tears, blood, Sweat and other people's tears, blood, sweat, my belt. <laughs> Two. 